power tools use many bearings to allow various components to rotate. Over time, a ball bearing will wear and begin to fail. A bearing that is failing will usually give warning, often with a squeaking or a squealing sound. Replacing a ball bearing is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing one half of the rear handle. Now remove the single screw at the bottom of the lower half of the cover. Then I'll remove the bottom protective cover from the motor. Now I'll remove the brush cap. and remove the brush from the business end of the armature. And I'll repeat this on the other side. Now I'll remove the four screws that secure the motor housing to the gear case. and I can remove the motor housing. If the armature sticks inside the housing, go ahead and remove it from the housing. Now I can remove the commutator and bearing. To do this, I'll use a bearing puller. Now I can install the new bearing. I'll place it over the armature shaft and use a socket to tap it into place. Now I'll reinstall the armature, place it into the gearbox, and I'll place the motor housing over the armature. I'll secure the housing with the screws. I'll reinstall the brushes. and the motor cover. I want to make sure that the vented portion of the cover faces towards the back of the tool. I 
I'll replace the screw that secures the rear half of the handle. Now I'll tuck all the wires back into place and replace the top half of the handle. And that's how easy it is to replace the bearing in your power tool. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.